Hey guys, welcome back. Well, I should be saying to myself, welcome back, but um, I did take a little break. Um, if you do not know who I am, my name is Jennifer, and this is my channel, Jennifer's Beauty by Oxygen. And um, I love anything makeup, uh, unboxing. I just have an addiction basically for makeup, skincare, hair care, all that good jazz. So if you're interested in that, then think about subscribing. If not, it's totally cool with me. Um, thank you for stopping by. But to all my lovelies that have stepped through everything with me, I am greatly appreciative. You guys just don't even know. Um, but let's get into the video. Um, today I'm going to be doing, yeah, I know you guys have already seen the Lorella unboxing because mine came super late, but that is totally okay. Um, I'm going to do a get ready with me. And while we are doing that, I'm just going to speak with you guys about a little update on my health and um, why I took a break. So um, if that sounds interesting to you, then stick around. Okay, guys, we're going to jump right into this video. Since you guys have probably already seen this unboxing, I'm not really going to unbox it for you guys. So I'm just going to go through the products as we go through it. So, of course, there was a palette and it's called Be Bold. Um, this is a stunning palette. I love it. I love it. Love it. I have not played with it yet. Um, I was waiting to do that with you guys. So let's show you the palette. It does have a full-size mirror. And this is she, y'all. Oh, I know you guys have seen it. Uh, stunning. I love this color story. There's so much you could do. There's neutral, bold, anything and everything. The colors are amazing. So um, I'm going to swatch a few for you guys so you can see the quality. I love Lorella. If you have not tried Lorella, you guys, I'll leave it down in the description box below. Um, go check it out. You're missing out, honestly. Um, I know I have PR for other companies, but uh, this is one of my tops, okay? I'm not even going to lie. This is one of my tops. Totally obsessed with Lorella. So um, I'm going to swatch a few for y'all. So I guess we'll do this blue, this gold this blue and let's do this sparkly red yeah we'll do that all right so here we go i mean i didn't pull my sleeve back you guys <laughs> but that's okay okay so um here we go there's the first three and four so let me fix the swatches swatches so, as you guys can see, pigmentation is there. Uh, these blend like a dream. And um, there's, there's, uh, yeah. Guys, I am, I'm no different than I was before, okay? I am fumbling over my words all the time. I don't get it, but we're trying to figure that out. But anyways, um, so their shimmers are so wonderful. I love them. Let's do like three more. So I'm going to do this green. Then we're going to do this blue and this orange. So, um, yeah, here we go. These are them. And voila. You guys, I just, I can't say enough about Lorella. If you have not tried them, honestly, I'm saying this again, and I will keep saying it. Go and check them out. They're affordable. They have great quality. And they're a great indie brand. And they're just, you know, they're kind of new. They're not real new, but they're kind of new still. And, man, these indie brands are killing it, y'all. I mean, legit killing it. That's you. Um, so let me get rid of the swatchy swatches so I don't make a mess. Because, you know, y'all know I'm good at that. <laughs> so, okay. And the rest that came in the box, we're just going to go through really quick. I know I told you we wouldn't, but um, I haven't unboxed mine, so I'm kind of excited. So, um, there is another neon brush set. I did get a, uh, yellow one, I believe before, and I did gift that out. That was in, um, one of the past giveaways. Also, uh, my last two giveaway winners, um, Barbie and Kiki, you guys, um, expect your boxes soon. I, I'm going to send them out to tomorrow. Today is Wednesday, the first, I believe, the second, maybe one or the other y'all my brain is all over the place but um i am sending those out tomorrow so you guys will get them in two days after that so yay i'm so sorry guys i've been uh, a lot's been going on and um 
I didn't really have time for my YouTube and I needed to actually take a break from it, not only because of physically what was wrong with me, but mentally as well. So, but we'll get into that in a minute. Anyways, we got the neon brush set and this is in the color Acid. I will be keeping this brush set. Um, don't mind my ratchet nails, y'all. I just took my nails off earlier and of course I didn't file them. I didn't uh, take the glue off. They, they look horrible. Just don't mind that. I've had them on for a, a month, so yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I go off track every time. This is their new Jumbo Beauty Sponge. I was so happy to get this. You guys don't even know. So we'll be using this today. And um, we'll be using this today. So I'm going to pretty much try to use everything in the box today. And the next thing is a Fantasy Glitter Eyeliner. These are their new eyeliners. They are glitter and they are wonderful. I'm going to show you. This is in the color Hypnotic. You know, Hypnotic because I'm so hypnotizing. So these are like paint markers, you guys. You have to shake them. I know you can hear it. Um, so yeah, this is what she, look, what she looks like. I love their packaging. I love everything. The packaging is so pretty. It's even glittery. But well, let me swatch it, swatch it for you guys, because you're going to be like. <gasps> so here we go. And when they dry down, let me tell you, they don't come off. They are almost like they are waterproof, I believe. Um, I don't think it says anything. It doesn't. But honestly, I put it on my hand for a swatch when I first got the box because I was so excited. And um, I washed my hands, I don't know how many times throughout the day, and it didn't come off. I had to literally scrub it off in the shower. So this is she. Beautiful. They have all kinds of different colors. I think there's like nine or ten of them. Um, yeah, I'll be getting them. I will. Yes, yes, yes. So we'll be using that today as well. Oh, hello. Be nice if I had some light on me, huh? And um, this is the Iconic uh, Gloss in white. Um, I was excited to get this too. I have a couple Iconic Glosses, but um, this one is a very pretty nude. I'm sorry, you guys have like fuzzies all over my nails because they're all ratchet, you know, anyway. So this is she. Beautiful color. It's a very pretty nude. I will wear this, definitely. And um, so, yeah. And then we received the, whoa, hello, hello. <laughs> this is Make-A-Wish, um, and this, I believe, is a lip liner, and uh, let's check her out. Um, I'm going to say this is a lip, lip liner. I'm going to test it just to make sure. Oh, yeah, this is a lip liner. Probably leave, use it as both, but it's really creamy, so I'm pretty sure it's a lip liner. This is the color, and that is that will go really good. They're like bringing out back the 2000 style or the late 90s because where we used to wear a dark liner and then a lighter lippy or no lippy at all, just gloss. That I, I'm seeing that come back. That little fat is coming back. So that is cool. We have pretty much a full face. Um, all I have to really do is add some blush and a highlight, and I have. Um, a highlight from Lorella, so I will use that one. And um, for blush, I will probably just grab one of my blushes, y'all. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put lashes on. I'm thinking about it because, of course, I'm doing a Lorella get ready with me. So I probably will do lashes, even though it's 10 o'clock at night. And um, this is all getting washed off after you. <laughs> so, anywho, um, that was my Lorella box. So stoked for this month's. Oh, if you guys now have not seen the spoilers, y'all need to go look because the palette, everything, everything about this month, February's box is going to be amazing. So let's get into this. I'm going to go wet my sponge and get everything ready for you guys um, so you don't have to sit here through an hour and a half long video. Yeah. So um, I just want to show you guys the sponge size before I go wet it. I when I say I'm in love with a sponge and I haven't even used it, y'all, does that tell you something? Hmm. But I am so glad to be back and I'm super stoked that you guys stuck with me and I even got a couple more followers. So thank you, thank you, thank you for whoever you guys are. And um, 
I don't know. All I can say is I love you guys and I miss you guys and I'm so glad to be back. So let's jump into this video so I can start talking to you guys about what and why I took my break. Okay. So, um, I think today, well, hello, um, we're going to prime my eyes, but first I didn't know what highlighter, I don't know what highlighter to go with because I have quite a few L'Oreal highlighters, but with this palette, I'm just not sure if I'm going to use gold or silver. So I got them both out, you know, I gotta be dramatic. I'm going to use the Poland, um, L'Oreal lashes. I love these lashes. Okay. And, um, I don't have Lorella blush. So I got out some Ofer blushes. We'll see. We'll see. I might pull out a different one. Who knows? You know me. So, um, I'm going to start with my eyes. I'm a little out of breath, you guys. I've been having a problem with my asthma lately. So don't worry about it. It's, I'm okay. Um, but so let's get into this. I'm going to prime my eyes. As I'm priming my eyes, I'm going to talk to you guys about my health and what's been going on. So ready for the ride um honestly <clears throat> let me get my little priming brush how'd you guys see i finally set it up my son bought it for me for christmas and i set it up and that's that's not even half that's not even half it doesn't even be a quarter of my brushes and and not to me not to mention like i have cases like this full of brushes as well y'all i have a problem Honestly. <laughs> Anywho, back to what we was talking about. Um, I don't know why I keep talking like that, y'all. It's just a country that comes out in me. Sorry. Um, but anyways, like on a serious note, I uh went to my neurologist and um I've been having headaches a lot lately. Um, ever since pretty much I've had my daughter. Now before that, um I used to have headaches really bad when, after I had my first child, but they like went away after a while, not necessarily went away all the way, but they weren't as bad and I could manage without, you know, any medicine or anything. Well, lately, um, yeah, it's been really, really bad and it's been really hard to like even see, to do my makeup, to draw, I mean, to draw, to drive, <laughs> to draw, I don't know. To drive, um, it's just, it's getting kind of scary. And it's caused for my headaches. And sometimes they get so bad to where I, I actually vomit or nearly pass out. I have passed out, but that was um, a while ago. And I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. So they're going to do a sleep study on me. And hopefully we find out what's going on. Um, and I have a whole bunch of other tests lined up, like, uh, I have a nerve conduction test. I have to do the top and bottom. Um, I have a sleep study. Hello, eyelash, eyelash. I can't even speak. And then, um, what else? I have like nine tests in February, just from my neurologist, y'all. And that doesn't include my eye test. I have to go to the eye doctor because I am seeing little uh, floaters and uh, white spots. Like, not white spots. Like, where it, I feel like I can't see. Like, everything just goes white. And it's scary. So, yeah, I have to do that. And, like, my mind's already going blank. I should have brought my paper over here. Um... Yeah, there's just a lot going on. I have to, uh, you know, figure out what's going on. And I'm having a lot of joint pain, but that is, of course, going to happen um, because I do have arthritis and um, other things wrong with me. I know everybody's going to say, you yeah, young. I understand that, but um, I did a lot of damage to my body as I was while I was a teenager. And um, not only that, I do have a few diseases that... Um, break down your muscle and cause joint pain and um it's just a lot you guys like when i start to talk about it i start getting overwhelmed and i think that's why i forget so much but um yeah we're working on it hopefully we can get this under control soon um i will keep you guys updated as i you know get my tests done and stuff but 
yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. And um, I am seeing a doctor. I, I go to my rheumatologist again soon. And I had to do blood work. And they're testing me for lupus and uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Um, psoriatic arthritis. There's a lot, okay? Because I already have psoriasis. So they're thinking... Joint pain is caused from a psoriatic arthritis, but symptoms kind of match up with lupus and I get rashes and y'all, I'm a hot mess. Just, let's just say that. So we're going to jump into the um, Be Bold palette and um, I might fast forward a little bit through this. So, you know, wherever I talk, I will put it in there, but um, yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, y'all. But I did want to update you guys and let you know that um, as the tests go, you know, as I do the, my test, as the tests go, I don't know. As I get my tests done, I will um, update you guys along the way. I hope you guys don't mind being a part of this journey. Um, and for all of you that have uh, supported me all this time, thank you so much. And for those who checked on me while well, I was on my break. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Um, you mean the world to me. Like, there's only a handful of you, and you guys are amazing, honestly. Like, I don't want to cry, but it makes me want to cry because, honestly, I don't have many friends, and so um, there are a handful of you guys that I do think of as my besties, like my friends. I can talk to you about anything. I trust you guys, and I love you guys. So, Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys know who you are. And um, yeah, okay, let's talk about something else. Um, if I can even see, because I'm gonna cry. I have my brushes. I'm just gonna keep them in my little pouch down here on my lap. And um, we're gonna just grab them out as we go. Um, they do not have names on them. So um, I will just, you'll see as I use them. <laughs> There's no sense in like showing you guys, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm going to just throw a couple of these out here so that I can use them. Oh, you guys. It's been hard lately. And I missed you guys so much. So, let's dive in. Um, Let's see. What are we going to do? I'm wearing black, so it really doesn't matter. I wanted to kind of do a, uh, like a three-color scheme. So, I kind of want to, of course, I want to use the brightest colors. Mm. Um, I want to incorporate the blues and the greens and the golds, I think, or the oranges. I'm not sure yet which way I'm going to, I might just use them all, but, um, yeah, first we're going to dive into this, uh, it's called Brave. Yeah. We're going to dive into this Brave and we're just going to wipe that all over the lid. And then I'm going to go into You Matter to kind of darken it up, start darkening it up. And, um, I will let you know. From there on, what, what, which way am I go? So we're gonna apply this brave. Don't forget to tap, y'all. Um, just you know, all over the lid. Um, what else? What else? Oh, my. Uh, I am an ambassador for Just Strong, and it is a uh workout gear for women. You don't necessarily have to work out for this to wear this. Uh. Uh, merchandise um they do have jackets and sweaters i finally received my first order so i will be doing my starting my vlog um soon um i was thinking next monday i think i'm going to start my vlog and um i will be walking and with probably with my daughter and maybe one of my sons or two of them who knows but um yeah we're gonna start vlogging soon well, I am. And I'm going to take you guys along with my health fitness journey as um, as well as I'm going to try to incorporate like the food I'm eating and stuff because I do have celiac disease, which means that I cannot eat gluten. And gluten is in a lot of things like noodles, um, bread. <sighs> it's just a lot of things that I miss. But whatever. I've gotten used to my diet. It's a lot of vegetables and fruits, but um, the doctor is a little alarmed because um, I lost 12 pounds within a month, and um, a lot of it has to do with I need to get with a nutritionist um, to try to help me kind of plan out a meal 
uh, plan for me. Um, being gluten-free is kind of expensive, if you didn't know. And it's been really hard on my family. We do struggle. And, you know, it makes me feel like sometimes, is this worth it? I don't know. But we're going to, I'm going to stick with it and see, see what happens. So I'm going to go into that um, You Matter color, same brush. And I'm going to um, deepen this up just a tad bit. And we'll keep talking. But um, my family is pretty good with it. Like, my sons kind of want to go gluten-free. I tell them I don't want them to, though, because, you know, it's not a very healthy diet if you don't have to be on it. I mean, it's not unhealthy. Well, it can be. Um, it's really hard to explain. But I will try to explain more as time goes on and you guys learn more about my quality of life, I guess you'd call it. Um, I'm really liking this neutrals, y'all. I don't know what it is lately. I haven't been wanting to wear makeup. Or when I do, it's I want it to be soft or more neutral. And L'Oreal is really good with that. They have a lot of neutral palettes. If you um, just like regular neutral everyday looks, they have a lot of neutral palettes. You should go check them out. And um, the quality of these palettes, I cannot, I cannot say it enough. Y'all already know I love Lorella. I wish I was a makeup artist because then, you know, I may, I might be able to meet them. <laughs> meet Alex and the team. That would be freaking awesome. But yeah, um, I can't say that's on my bucket list because it's not realistic. I mean, it is in a way, but I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, guys. I feel like it's not realistic because it's like out of my reach, you could say. I don't know how to say it. But. So I'm tapping my brush, trying to get off all the excess from that color because we're going to dive into a different color, but I don't want it to get all over my brush. The, the, I don't want them to mix. So um, we have the base down. Let's see. What do we want to do here? So, I think I'm going to do blue, 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 green, red. I think we're going to go with blue, green, and um, the reddish orange color. Yeah, we're going to do that. So, I'm going to dive into... Um, I'm going to dive into this green right here. And you know what? I really want to do this blue, y'all. But I don't I don't get down on green looks usually. So, we're going to do the green. We're going to do the green. I'm just going to stick with it because I want to do a green look for you guys because I've never have. So, we're just going to stick with the green. So, I'm going to pack this um green color on my, and it's really light y'all so i'm gonna be having to um build this color up so don't worry don't worry don't worry And we will be cleaning this up after, so don't worry, guys. Make sure I'm getting this outer corner really good because for some reason, I, I don't know, certain areas, like, excuse the vehicle. They've got a haul butt through my neighborhood, so yeah. Right. I'm gonna do one eye with you guys and then you know of course I'll come back with the other because if not we'll be here all night y'all and what and good <laughs> it's unacceptable y'all but no um now we're gonna dive into this blue um I wanted to do the blue first to kind of even this um to not even what the heck is wrong with me y'all no um to buff this color out to blend that's that's the word I was looking for, y'all, to blend this color out. But I think I'm going to go with um, 
one of these like orangier tone colors, maybe even a brown to blend out to the top. I think I'm gonna go with orange because at the top I wanna put gold because we're gonna be using red and gold in the, in the middle, in the middle, in the middle. Y'all, I don't know, I'm tripping. <laughs> so I'm gonna dive into this, uh, is this it? Yeah, it's power, no, unstoppable. Cause you're unstoppable. Okay, anyways, um, we're gonna dive into that. And I'm gonna change my brush um, to actually, let's say here, this one, because we are going to blend. So tap, 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 tap. Um, don't forget to tap your brush off. You don't want all this excess. You see all that? You don't want that, okay? So you tap it, and then you blend, blend. This is like the most important part of putting a makeup on, is the blending. Blendy, 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 blendy. And everybody complains about it. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's the easiest part to me. It might take the longest, but it's called patience. You know, a little bit of patience goes a long way. Listen to me, her preaching. I should be practicing what I preach, y'all. So anyways, um, we're going to blendy, 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 blendy. Just to give you some color on the outside. I don't know what, what is up with these dang um, voices that I'm doing, y'all. Mm. So, um, after we get this a little bit more blended, we're going to add a little more because, you know, it's got to be dramatic. And we're going to blendy, 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 blendy. And as you guys can see, I work my way inwards. Um, I do not start in the inner corner with color. I always start either on the outside or in the middle right here and I always try to get as much off of my brush before I go into the inner corner. You know, um, you don't want it to, you want it to blend. You don't want it to be all, bam! You know, did I scare you? I got you, girl. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I had to do it. Um, but the video is here to come, guys. I want to be having more fun. Um, I want to vlog more, but I am still going to do my, my makeup videos. I do have a list of uh, videos to do, so that is good. Um, I will not be posting every day. That was one thing I wanted to let you guys know. I will not be posting every day anymore. It will be either every other day, every two days, but I've realized that I'm putting, I'm getting myself overwhelmed trying to put out a video every day, trying to answer every comment. That was another thing. I will not be answering every comment anymore. It's getting really overwhelming, you guys. Um, I love the support. I love you guys so much, and I want you to keep commenting because I love reading them. But to sit there and to answer every comment, it's as you grow larger and larger, it gets harder and harder and overwhelming. And it's taken me days to catch up. And since I took like two or three breaks so far, I've really kicked myself in the butt, y'all. So please don't take it personal if I do not answer your comments with a comment. I will always heart you guys. I love you guys so much. And it means so much for me, to me, for you guys to support me the way you guys do. Um, I will try to answer comments when I can get to them. It will not be everyone anymore. And please don't get offended if you don't get your comment answered that did that video. Um, I just, I, I want to keep it fair, y'all. But... It's really, really getting hard. So, um, I just want to let you guys know, you know, don't take it personal if I don't answer your comment. I will try to get, you know, answers different people's comments out of different videos so that everybody gets a chance to be answered, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making sense. But for me to sit and see, I stop it, what I'm doing. Um, for me to sit and answer every comment, it's it's gotten really overwhelming. So my husband said, look, sit down and talk to them and let them know, you know, you love them and you, I don't know where the brush was going right there. <laughs> you love them, but, um, you know, it's, it's hard. And especially if you don't have a YouTube channel, uh, I hope you understand me guys, but, um, yeah. So we got this blended out. Um, this corner for some reason is not blending tonight, but we're just going to deal with it. So that's good enough we're gonna use the liner today since it's green um that's kind of why i like leaned towards the green um but 
what else should I do? I love these brushes, y'all. They're so soft. And they blend gorgeously. Like, I love them. I love them. A lot. Okay, so we got that done. Um, I need to touch up the screen just a little tad bit because, um, it's just, it's just messing with me, y'all. I'm telling you. I don't know what it is, but it does not want to, the color does not want to stay right here. I don't get it. My face is just not playing nice today, which is fine. Which is fine. We will get through it. It's going to take a little more effort. That's all. Okay. So, got that. Let's see here. Hmm. I want to incorporate this blue because it is freaking stunning. I don't know if I want to use the, the light blue or the dark blue. I kind of want to go with like hmm but i want to do something in the middle so i think i'm going to do this red and orange and then i'll incorporate you know what we're going to try something here i'm going to put this shimmer it's fearless it's a green shimmer I'm gonna put that on top of this green to see if it helps with the color at all because I'm like having a problem keeping color right here. And I think if it shimmers, it'd be so pretty. And we're gonna put that in the front. Even though we're gonna add other colors um, on trip. Okay. There we go. That's a little better. So we got that green on. I don't know if I like it, but we're going we're going to leave it. And I'm going to blend this just a tad bit cuz you know, adding color on top of a color that you already blended is just a tad bit strange. It's a little backwards, but whatever. There's no rules. There's no rules at all. Remember that. There's no rules to make up. Just have fun and do what you like. Okay. So now we have that green is not very baboom. I think um it's my skin, honestly, guys, because it's just been out of whack lately. So, anyways, we are going to go into this orange and um yeah, we're gonna put a her. Excuse me. We're gonna put this orange, it is unstoppable, and then I'm gonna put this strong on top of it, and I think I'm gonna Put the blue, like a little smidge of blue with the, this and this because I, I'm just digging these blues, y'all. So let's get into this orange color. Um, we're going to pack that right here. I kind of wanted to do a cut crease, but it's okay. That'll be for another video because I have a new way to do it, which is freaking awesome. But I want to show you guys in a different video. So. so here is my orange. That did not work right. Now we are going to use the blue. You see how dry my skin is, y'all? Oh my god. All right. And now, that, like, that's another thing. My skin is just like all over the place. Don't know why. Don't know how. 
Okay, so we're going to apply this blue. Okay, I'm going to do um, light to dark. So I'm going to apply this really bright color. It's beautiful. Beautiful blue. Right here. I hope you guys can see. I'm like leaning all on the table and not paying attention. And then a strip of this blue. This blue is bold. I love it. It's beautiful. Look at that. Just stunning. Okay, so I'm going to place that right next to this. There is quite a bit of fallout on this palette. I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. I can always clean that up. But if you don't like fallout, morning. Not all the Lorella palettes are like this, though. Just to let you guys know. Not all of them have a lot of fallout. Just keep that in mind. I don't want you dissing Lorella because the fallout in this palette, y'all. Okay, so... Incorporated all three. I'm going to reapply that orange. And I think I'm going to add a little red to it. I'm thinking. Not sure yet. We're going to apply the orange first. And if I feel like it needs red, we will apply red. I don't think. I don't know. What do you guys think? Not like I can actually speak to you guys right now, but I think that I'm going to put red at the end. Okay. I think I'm going to put red at the end. Um, I don't know if I want to put this shiny... Let me fix this. It's driving me freaking bonkers. I'll just put... Yeah, I don't know what this eye looks going to be, but... Um... It's going to be a little different, okay? Um, I'm... <sighs> Trying to incorporate as many colors as I can, honestly, but look kind of funny. Um, I think I'm gonna put this red, just kind of like a sparkly orange red. Let me hear. Get a nice definition. And I'm gonna drag that just to kind of take that. Oh, those harsh lines um, from the blue out. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're going to stick that right here. I'm going to take this bright ass color. Sorry for the curse words today. I just, I want to be more myself. I can hold that um, back a lot to be professional for you guys, but I don't really care about being monetized or anything anymore. I just want to have fun on my channel, and if it happens, it happens. But I have um, other things I can focus on that it, it's not a big deal. So, 
Um, let me see. We're going to add some gold. I think we're going to do this. It's called confidence. Right here. I want to incorporate that. So let's see. It's very pretty. Um, I think we should do that right here. So that is working out good. It's a very pretty color. I think with the lashes, <laughs> that little blue stripe is going to look awesome with the green um, eyeliner. So um, I'm like going to put, I think I'm going to incorporate that gold that I just used. Um, not only on my bottom line but up here i kind of want to use this motive i'm going to use this motive at the top so we're going to use this one at the top oh where'd it go right here it's called motive um i'm trying to incorporate like every color <laughs> it probably just looks like a rainbow of crap but you'll see at the end it all comes together every time even when i'm scared and nervous that it's not going to um, yeah, we're gonna go into this motive. Oh, that's a creamy, creamy color. I love it. Oh, okay. So, um, we're, yeah, okay. Here we go. I think I'm gonna use my gold highlighter today for highlight because these colors are just beautiful. I am loving that. All right. So we're going to use that one at the bottom of my lash line. Very pretty color. So here we go. Now we are going to apply the eyeliner. <sighs> fun, fun, guys. I'm going to do this on camera with you guys. What I do is I just gently pull. See, I think that little blue will pop with the eyelashes. But I kind of want to do like that little, I kind of want to do like the little, but I think I'll mess it up. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> oh, let me get this crap off. Okay. So this is my dull eye look. I told you it was going to be more of like a everyday neutral kind of look. I do want to do my inner corner with you guys right now. Okay. So you can see the glitter has dried. It is absolutely beautiful. But let's see. We're going to do, um, since we're just going to do this blue, it is called independent. That's what we are going to put in our inner corner. Cap. Yep. Here we go. Here we go, guys. This is the look. Um, let me finish up and come back with my final look, and we'll talk about it. And, um, yeah, guys, I'm just glad to be back. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, my loves, we are back. Um, we are going to apply the lashes, and I'm going to do my lips, and we will be finished. Um, we pretty much used everything oh hold on i'm lying first i need some blush and some highlighter y'all so i'm gonna throw on this blush this is chameleon from ofra um one of my favorite blushes i 
get rid of my brushes right now. So, um, we're going to throw this on. Um, I'm kind of putting it on heavy, guys, because I noticed, I was watching some of my old videos, and I noticed I can't really see my blush unless I'm, like, literally packing it on. So, I'm going to kind of pack it on right now. And then I'll rewatch it and see how it looks. But I was noticing that you could not see my blush before. And I didn't like that, so. Okay, so maybe that's too much, but who cares, you know? I love blush, so. I'm a blush junkie. Um, I'm going to put some right here. Just to add some dimension, y'all. Some on my nose. And my chin. So when we highlight, it just comes out a little bit more. Okay. And, um, I didn't contour either. Okay. So now contour. Let's leave her. Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys. Look at my little hairs are growing in so much better. Look, there's no bald spot anymore. There's little baby hairs growing all in. I don't know if you guys can see. And it's almost full. Now, um, I will show you what I've been using. I've been using the hair of AF. You guys know that. Um, but then I started using something three months ago. And I will be sharing that soon. It is amazing. And it is helping so much in just the fullness of my hair. Uh, new growth. It's crazy. Look at all these baby hairs. You guys, like, like literally, I could have bangs. Like, look at that. It's awesome. But we're, we'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> I need a contour. So, um, blah, 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 blah. where, oh, here it is. Where's my lashes on it? Hold on. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. I'm going to use my new brush. This is the angle brush. And this is by La, uh, LaRousse. Yeah, LaRousse. And it's their angle brush. And, um, yeah, we're going to try this one out. So far, so good. Just adding a little dimension. Y'all, you know, not too much. A little bit, just a little dimension. And here. Contour done. All right, highlight, y'all. I think I'm going to go with this brownish gold highlight. I think it goes better with the look. Let's check her out, shall we, y'all? Okay. So I don't blind you. Let me hold them by the mirrors. Um, yeah, we're going to go with the gold. Correct me if I'm wrong down below if you would have preferred the silver. But um, I kind of want to go with gold. So we're going to give me contouring brush. Okay, and we're just gonna throw some contour. I mean, contour. Really, you guys highlight, y'all. I'm tripping. All right, so let's just add some of the highlight. I love their highlighters, they're so beautiful. And it doesn't matter what color, it always goes with my skin tone. So, never, I'm never disappointed with Lorella. Never have I been. Okay, so highlight is done. I feel like I over highlighted my nose, y'all. So let's lighten that up, but just a tad. And whenever you do that, just take your beauty blender and tap. 
and it will take a lot of that away. Soften it up a bit for you. Just a little tip and trick for y'all. <laughs> Okay, love it. Okay, let's put this away. Now we are gonna apply the lashes, y'all. And um, you know what? I'm gonna do my lip liner first. And we're going to add the gloss. Okay. And I do have their iconic gloss. And it does match. So I'm thinking I'm going to throw some on y'all. And literally. Oh, hello. That made it pop. Love it. All right. Let's uh, get these lashes on so we can roll out. All right. Let's see. I don't know if I'm gonna fast forward this. It depends on how long it takes me to put them on, y'all. So hmm, bear with me. I am not a professional. Sometimes I think I am, but <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, so I'm using the Lorella um, Lash Glue. This is the bomb. It is latex free. It's clear, and this is the Everlasting Eyelash Glue. This is what I use now. And we're using the Lorella Lashes in Poland. So, like I said, everything is pretty much Lorella except for the blush and the contour, y'all. So, um, don't judge me. But, yeah. Alright. That is one lash. Um, I'm not gonna put glue on my eyelid today because, um, your girl is not going nowhere. So, I mean, we ain't doing all that. Um, these gotta come off soon, so... No point in making them stick all night. But I am putting enough glue so they stick right. So bear with me, y'all. Right. I am going to put her down. Pick her up. Oh, no, no. You can't do that. Okay. Hello. Hello. Can we pay attention? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Don't laugh at me, y'all. Okay, let me get my tweezers. Where'd they be? I apply with my fingers in the beginning, and then I do apply with my tweezers. So, um, yeah, let me move my mirror. And here we go. Okay, I'm hoping they're on. They look like it. I'm just gonna make sure by squeezing them and pushing them against the lid, y'all. Just don't want them moving. Okay, there's one. Okay, let's uh, get the other one on. And I will apply mascara and everything after. Um, and on. Bada bing, bada boom. These are pretty. Alright. So, lashes are on. Alright. And they are on, guys. 
to let's put some mascara on I have brighten that inner corner a bit and we'll be finished give me one sec okay guys so um this is the final look so I created my own look using the be bold palette um we did use everything in the box and I also added some things from Lorella like a highlighter um eyelash glue eyelashes yeah, the only things that I used that weren't Lorella was my bronzer, my um, blush, and the eyebrow pencils that I use. Um, this is Drawing Eyebrow by Etude House. I'm not sure. I've never heard of them. This, I love this eyebrow pencil. And then I just um, put Feather Strokes by ColourPop in to make it look more realistic. Um, I used the Gimme Lala mascara so out of everything these are the only things that i did not use that were lorella i mean that weren't lorella and um everything else was by lorella so uh what do you guys think leave me your comments down below um let me know what you guys would like me to do next um you know give me some ideas i already have a whole bunch of videos um like that i'm getting ready you know you guys understand i have some planned so uh, yeah stay tuned for that but uh, let me know down below what do you guys think of my look did you like it let me come in closer so you guys can see okay don't don't mind my messy hair and all that good jazz but this is the look So, um, let me know down below what you guys think. Did you like this palette? Did you guys get this box? Did anybody get it other than Stephanie and me? Let me know. Um, have you tried Lorella? Let me know what you guys think about the formula, about their palettes. I want to know you guys' thoughts on Lorella. I love Lorella. So, um, that's only my thought though. So, be sure to leave your comments down below. And other than that, you guys, this is me coming back and saying hello and um that i'm back uh i will not be posting every day like i was like i said you guys um but i will be posting and i am i'm here so uh, yeah i'm happy to be back guys but make sure you leave me your comments down below like comment subscribe um and i will see you in the next one guys so stay blessed stay healthy and i love you bye